Hi friends, I'm Adaftaf from Easy Approach and it's the 33rd video of Flutter video series. From the last 3 or 4 videos, we have been doing some great things like we have talked about the HTTP request, we have talked about the SQF Lite and shared preferences. So in this video, I have decided to make a quick and short video tutorial on the widget that I love most. And we'll be using this widget in the next videos that is also the reason of making video on it. So the widget that we are actually talking about is called animated crossfed and it is used to show transition between two different scenes or between two different widget I should say. Now say we have an application and there's a form on it and now we want to show some acknowledgement by replacing the form into a message in an animated way once the user has submitted the form. So the best widget to achieve this is animated crossfade. And now let's implement the same thing in Flutter application. So let's first remove all the existing code of the default application and now let's make our own stateful widget. So you can give any name. And now you have to give the reference of this widget here in the home. And now let's make some basic layout structure. So firstly, I'm returning here a scaffold widget and inside the scaffold, I would have a center widget so that I can align everything to be everything in center. And now inside this, I am making a container so that I can apply some padding. And inside this container, I'm making animated cross fed. And inside the animated crossfade, we first need to define the first scene that we need to show before transition. So it is actually called first child. So here we actually need to define in our case the form that we need to show. So let's make a simple form. So this is it, we have created the first scene which is just a basic form in which we have just three text fields and one flat button and we have uh, uh, give here some uh, space as well to separate these text fields. And now we have to make the second scene which is called the second child. So I'm just making here a container that would be of green color and it would show some message. Let's apply some padding as well so that our text will come properly. And in the child, just give here text widget. And let's give some color as well. And now we have done with the second uh, scene as well. And now we have to give another property which is called duration. So it would be the time taken by animated crossfade to animate from one scene to another. So if you want to make it uh, quicker, you can give some millisecond or even microsecond, but I'm giving here one second so that we can see it properly. Now the last thing that you must need to define in the animated crossfed and it's actually the most important thing is crossfed state. So it actually defines what scene you want to show in the animated crossfed currently. So if you give here crossfed state dot show first, it would show the first scene that is in our case a form. And if you give here show second, it would show the second scene that is the container that contains the message. But we want to make it dynamic. We want to show the form if the form has not been submitted yet. And you want to show the message if the form has been submitted. So we can do one thing. We can make a boolean variable that would hold either true or false in case of form submitted or not submitted respectively. So let's make the variable is form submitted. 
and initially it would be false and whenever the user would tap on the button that is submit button we would change the value of it it means the user has submitted the form so we can call here set state inside the set state we, we just need to change the value from false to true and now based on this flag we can show whatever scene we want so if the form has submitted successfully so it means we need to show the container that is the second scene so you can give here crossfire state dot show second where it is yeah here it is and if it is not true it means he has not the user has not submitted the form so we need to show the first scene so this is it we have done everything now if i refresh it so you can see here it's actually showing this form and if i click on the submit so you can see the message wow it's great so I don't know why it's not coming in the center or we can do one thing now if I refresh it or rerun the application now you can see it in center so if I click on the submit wow you can see the transition from form to the message that's actually the acknowledgement that your form has been submitted so this is it from this video uh, it's actually the widget that i love most and we'll be using this widget in the next videos so this is it from this video if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and if you are new to my channel please go through uh, the videos or the videos list that i've i've been making uh, for almost uh, for almost five or six months so you'll be find so many helpful things to learn so Thank you for watching.